Hi everyone and welcome to Junk Journal July Day 2. This is in my creative slash modern junk journal. I, don't, I think I'm going to have to stop saying that because I'm saying it too much. If you don't know about Junk Journal July, it is here, hosted by Meg Journals and Get Messy um, Art. Prompt 1 was Good Vibes and Prompt 2 is pop, pop of Colour and that's what I'm doing today. Here's my Good Vibes. I thought that was pretty cute. Um, I've been dying to use these stickers again and I just love these papers. Not quite how normal junk journaling goes, I guess, but um, I enjoyed it and I really like the colours and the style. So this is kind of the vibe I'm going for. Today is pop of colour. Um, it's next to a fairly colourful spread. So um, I've gone and pulled these papers from my old Studio Calico Traveller's Notebooks. I wanted a background that was monochrome so that I can add some colour. Can you guess what colour I'm going to add, by the way? It's probably quite obvious. Um, so I've got this dark black gingham. And just to give you, obviously it's going to be pink. I'm just going to grab this sheet of paper. I'm, I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to use this or not. But just to give you an idea of the colour against it, you know, this is kind of the bright pinkness that I'd be looking at. Um, then the next option would be this one. So it's still very black and white, but it's um, much whiter than black as opposed to this one, right? That's my theory there. And here is some pink against it. I quite like that. I then have like a gray and it's it's kind of a um i don't know what you would call it it's a brownie gray i guess with a pink against it and i don't dislike that and i plan on having a cluster of of pink things together but i think what i'm going to go with is this one i really like this map concept um and i don't know i th thinking about um the placement i've got this nice little space here where the pop of colour could go, you know, the road or river or whatever that is, kind of sits nicely to the left and I can use this point as my focal point. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I have to make decisions, otherwise I never get there. Okay, hopefully that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. Okay, so we're going to commit to that immediately. Because I have thought about this a little bit while I was working on that Good Vibes one. And I was also going through the same books to find papers and things. Um, and I love that I've been able to repurpose what was supposed to be a traveller's notebook into papers that I can actually use. If we went this way, then the pop of colour would be in the centre there. No, I think I like the idea of it going towards the other side. I've covered up the two, but that's okay. I don't mind so much. Okay, there we go. So what I'm thinking, let me show you the pieces that I've pulled together. Well, you've seen this piece of paper. I don't know about that. I like it because it's got the grid. Please excuse Gidget walking around. Uh, okay, so I've got these kind of ticket things. I just wanted to, th I was thinking I was going to use that top one. Um, and I've got these little labels. And again, with the top one, I've got some enamel dots here and obviously this color, but I could also pull in this color here as well. Don't think I'm crazy, but I thought maybe this have some fun, the have courage or the be you, stay you or even, you know, these kind of colours, the pinks and the peachy kind of colours, could go well. I haven't got any words yet, so that might be the one. Just some dots in case I want them, and some teeny tiny hearts. These are from Hobby Hoppers, in case I want them. And then this little flower here could be a focal point too, um, instead of. So I think, I mean, I'm definitely going to use this. So whether this goes down on there on its own, or maybe I back it, um, maybe it could sit on there and I could back it on this piece of paper because it does then have something darker behind it. I quite like the idea of having something dark behind it. Now I do have two of these, so if I ruin it, 
then I can use the other one. So let's again commit. I'm going to make it um, right to the edge, you know, with a little bit of spare there. And then we'll just cut it down to be the same amount all the way through. Okay, so I quite like that that has a bit of um, darkness around the edge of it and it brings in that kind of darker pink colour that I'm quite keen on. So then I would layer this piece on as well. You know what, I'm just going to chop it out from the background just so I can place it for a look rather than ruining it. I know I've got two, but I quite like these. So I'm thinking he could just layer on top of there or even behind it. And then either this or this as the focal point. I really love have some fun, but I would prefer if the speech bubble was going that way. And there's no pink ones going that way except the have courage. And I just think it's not the right color. So maybe it doesn't matter that it's going off in that direction instead. The other option is this, which is much sort of prettier. Hmm. You know what, maybe that's better. It does seem to fit the colors better as well. And I'm just thinking about where, if I do some journaling, where that would go on here. It may not, I may not do journaling journaling. I might put um, a phrase down there instead. Okay, let's get this off the backing. So I'm thinking it would either go there or on top. I quite like the on top concept. Maybe I can cover up that number five. No, I quite like the number five. It means nothing, but still I quite like it. And yeah, I think I will put it on top. So perhaps they're like that. And then that would sit there. And then this beautiful thing from Brandy Kincaid would just sit on top of there like that. Oh, yeah, okay, I really like it. Um, it's super simple. And I don't know, sometimes, I mean, not sometimes, all the time, I tend to overthink things. I want it to be, you know, supreme perfection. <laughs> I just can't help it. So I think it's time to stop thinking that way. And um, although I do, you know, I want to be neat. I want to be, I want it to be how I want it to be, <laughs> let's say. But I don't want to aim for super perfection all the time. It's starting to just take up too much time and therefore don't want to do it. Like, for example, I'm filming this at quarter past five, you know, rainy Melbourne day and the sun has set. So I've just got the light from above and um, from my ring light. And I would never normally, I would almost never film this way, but I've decided today that I'm just going to. So I think that's all I would do. Um, I don't think I'm going to add any journaling to this one. Uh, I, except I wouldn't mind some phrase, a phrase of some kind. So let's find where I put my phrase stickers. Here they are. So I could do a black one on this. Oh, look, all roads lead home. That's pretty perfect, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I'm going to use that. I don't know if I want to use something else. There's the word discover there as well explore more kind of fits with the road theme you know the map theme i think i will put both explore more anyway i'll get them both out and i'll decide when i put them down so i think i want to put this here Okay, so maybe I'll put it at the top. I'll just put it down lightly and then I can put explore more. So 
something like that maybe I think that looks good all roads lead home and I like the black leading into that black there I think that's quite cool I've distressed this here accidentally okay I think that's cool and then I just want to add a couple of these because they're cute as um, and they're the perfect color I think they're just the perfect color for this I don't have my tweezers on me so I'll put one here and then I'll get a bit of a larger one which I think could sit over that road there and then we might put a bigger one just here oh I really like how that's turned out it's the, just such nice pink colors and this is my pink right this pinky purple pink is one that I really love Okay, that's day two done so quickly. Just a quick one today. I'm really happy I could get it done uh, in the amount of light that I have. And I was kind of thinking when I was doing this one that this would be, I would try to make this something that would kind of go with it. You know, I've got the black and white here and the black and white together. And of course, there's almost always going to be pink on my spreads. So I think that works well. Let me know what you think, guys. I'm super keen to hear what you think. Uh, tell me what you think of the lighting in this video as well. I know it's not my usual, so uh, apologies if it's difficult. But it looks okay in the camera, and I did try. I did give it a little check beforehand as well. So that's it. That's Junk Journal July Day 2. Um, I'm a bit, bit behind. Um, today is actually the 4th and uh, I'm just filming days one and two now. But I really wanted to put the book together first, so... I'm loving this Hobonichi Avec. It's the best little system and such fun things in here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Okay, thanks again. I'll see you all super, super soon. Bye.